Hello everyone, this is Miss Dear D, special things. Oh my goodness, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the awesome Julie Nutting doll stamp collaboration. You guys knocked it out of the ballpark. It was so much fun. I really appreciate this. This is the kind of fun I like to see in the crafting community. I thought this was loads of fun. I got so many inspiring tips and techniques from all of you. And it was a delight to see all of the re all of the viewers come over and leave comments and this was awesome you guys. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed I enjoyed all aspects of it. It was just great. And I really want to thank all of you who collaborated with us, uh, participated in it, um, viewed our channels. I just like to thank everyone, you guys. This this was fun, and we're going to continue this fun for the next 11 months, um, one time a month. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's all about the fun. Let's just have fun. Let's share ideas with each other because guess what? On this video, I have an idea for you guys. So if you want to grab it because I'm grabbing your ideas. I'm using some of your you guys' idea. The idea that I'm using today, I actually saw Gigi Brody. I think that's her name. Um, let me see. G. Brody, I think she's one of the collaborators, and I saw her, I thought her idea was really good where she actually um, redressed her dolls. She actually redesigned them, and I thought that was a good idea. An uh, artist, I'm not, I think she even drew her doll. I'm not trying to do that because um, even with the Julie Nutting book, my dolls don't seem to come out right. So, But I got the stamps, right? So I'm able to use the stamps. And you guys, excuse my fingers. I'm going to show you what I came up with using these two stamps. But first, just to do some cleanup. Um, I just want to reiterate a few key important things, key points to keep in mind. Um we're only using the Julie Nutting doll stamp, okay? And uh, the lesson learned from the this past collaboration is you forget that everyone isn't, you know, um, uh, years of crafting. So they may have come across some stamps and they don't know that they're not Julie Nuttings. Um... Yeah, so we did have, when we we think Prima, we think just Julie Nutting. But Prima has so many collections. Um, we just want to, we're kind of designing around Julie Nuttings this time. Okay, you guys? So that if you're a participant and you're not doing this every single month, just know that when you do it, we'll be using the Prima dolls. The Prima Julie Nutting dolls, nothing else, only that collection. So, yes, that said first. Um, then we also want to use the title that is listed. It'll be listed in your dis your um, email that you get. Use that title, okay? And we're doing that for a reason because this isn't a hop. So, even if you link to each of the um, links that even if you click on each of the links that Terry sends out you may not necessarily find anything on that link because people are actually um excuse me okay people are actually crap they have all day to upload their video so something may not be there so what we're trying to do is to just show if you're doing it once you use that title it's going to show up in your sidebar it should pop up and you should be able to see who actually did theirs yet if you um don't see theirs then use that that list that she sent and this is for you know the collaborators and the participants just use that list and that'll help for the People that are just viewing, if we use that title, then everyone, the collaborators and the participants, if you use that title, then everyone should be seeing your videos, okay? 
Um, and then, let's see. I know I had a few things to tell you. Um, use the title. Because the only thing that's going to change each month in that title is the month. Okay, so the title will always be the same. But anyway, what I plan to do today, and I think it was G. Brody that I saw her um, collaboration from January. And she did such a great, uh, I like what she did. Yeah, and she actually, I liked everyone's um, project. Okay. But I like the idea that she took her doll and she designed it and redid the hair and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to show you what I did using this doll. I think three other dolls and these clothes. Well, some of these clothes, this clothes, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here is the original doll right here. Here she is. All right, you guys. Isn't that cute? Look at her. That's, that's the Marisol. And I took her and I actually fussy cut her clothes. And I used this little skirt and I used the top of her dress to clothe her. Then I used some shoes. I overheated that on purpose, but it still didn't come out like I wanted to. And you all, I'll tell you a story if you don't know about the red shoes. All my dolls wear red shoes, so yeah. Don't think I'm trying to match her. I think it's just the red shoes you'll see on all of my dolls. Except for the boys. I haven't figured theirs out yet. But this has a lot to do with... I have to do something really quick before I show you this next doll. I'm going to do it real quick. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to show it to you. I'm trying to get this video done today. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I took one of the other dolls and I used her face. I used her hair. The dolls are about the same size as you can see. I used her hair on that one. Then I took, and then I made her clothes, yes. I took this dress and this bottom and fitted it. Fitted it? Yes, I fitted it. <laughs> on her to make that dress right there, that outfit. So that's the doll with the hat on her head, as you can see. Okay, and then I took this girl and I used a different face. I didn't use, I didn't put faces on it. I used a different hair on her. And then I used the clothes that she have on and I used the top of this to make her a little top. Yeah. I used the shoes from the stamp collection too. And then I took this girl. I used this dress. And there you are. Those are four different ladies I used. The, the heads of each one of them are the same size. As the head of her. So all you really have to do is cut the face and the hair out. And decorate it just like you normally would. And you could actually design your own dolls. I just did that today. Is that cute or what? <laughs> I thought so. Hey, I got a fashion show going on there, huh? Yep, there you go. Okay, so that was just an idea of how you can take your dolls. And you can actually interchange... Uh, the faces. Yes, isn't that great? And there you are. You have even more dolls than you think you have. Alright, everyone. That's my little idea for making more dolls with just the ones that you have. Okay, I hope you all like this idea. Tell me you all are having a good time doing this collaboration. I want it to be all about the fun. So, I'm thinking as much as I can share, as many tips I can give... Uh, to you all and I'm getting the tips from you believe it or not I'm getting these ideas just by looking at what you do and how you do it and making it my own so this is I think what a collaboration is all about um, 
for inspiring each other, sharing with each other, getting new ideas, and making friends, you guys. This is going to be fun. All right, you guys, until next time, I'm looking forward to seeing your next collaboration. Thanks, everybody, for watching. All right, bye-bye.